Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your weekly technical analysis of Paris milling wheat, Minneapolis wheat and London UK feed wheat. Paris milling wheat. I have a singular big picture item here on this daily chart that is nearly two years old is the big, big June to October 2022 to April 2024 bear channel. Currently that's at 210 as to actually well off the bottom of my daily chart. This bear channel is still highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart originating from June and October 2022 and it's only since mid April that we saw it broken on the upside. But it is so significant that I have kept it highlighted. So. Now, since the low in early March that the market staged a gapping move higher, admittedly due to changeover, but still a gapping move higher. It's risen up through the short medium moving average, currently at 233. Hesitated around the MOVE highlighted medium moving average, currently 221, enough to form a combined descending triangle and bullish halfway hesitation. And follow up through the 50% absolute Fibonacci line at 219 and a dark blue highlighted upper bear channel line, currently 212 of this long time bear channel. Prices move further up over the long moving average, currently 228. Hesitated for a short while, just under the neckline extension of the June to November 2023 head and shoulders top, currently at 235, before breaking up through and onto the congestion between 252 to 255, containing the 2013 high at 254. Utilizing that congestion as support rather than resistance and moving up through the 258 to 260 congestion containing the 2022 low at 258 before coming to the last and arguably most difficult overhead congestion between 267 to 270 where we have been capped. In the process of moving higher the market created a very steep and acute late April to late May bull channel highlighted in purple on my daily chart. So before I deal with this new bull channel let's go back a bit to that break of that big bear channel. This break higher gives a primary target X for the move up in the 277 area, with a secondary hardest reach target X1 up in the 312 area, which is up off the top of my daily chart right now. So what stands in the way? Well, the obvious current resistance of 267 to 270 is quite reasonable and quite congested. Beyond that, we have the 2012 high at 279, then the neckline extension to the October 2021 to December 2021 head and shoulders top. A small one, but relevant, and that's currently at 293. After this, there's a series of 50% Fibonacci lines of the, the September 2019 to May 2022 move at 302, the August 2020 to May 22 move at 307, and the March 2021 to May 22 move at 313. Moving back to this week, and we have a breakdown and below the recent purple highlighted bull channel. The break that may be good enough, not to allow any finessing of the lower bull channel line, so it may not be good enough to allow any finessing. Well, that gives us still some new opportunities on the downside without ruling out the larger longer term potentials on the upside. You could call this a possible diversion, if you will. Thus, we have a potential primary target X2 down in the 244 zone and a secondary and hard to reach target X3 down in the 233 zone. In theory, even dropping down to target X3 at 233 would still keep targets X and X1 above still alive. But I imagine we would have developed some newer patterns by then, should prices venture that far. I guess I'll reprise my last sentence from last week and I quote, We shall see how far the market makes it, if just to target X, or further, or not at all. End of quote. Minneapolis Wheat. Back in late February 2023, and especially at the start of April last year, so that is now outside the parameters of my daily chart, the market constructed a large bear channel that morphed into what is now highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart, a descending expanding wedge pattern currently 7.2022, 7.22, let me rephrase that, to down well off the bottom of my daily chart. The upper trend line is currently escorted and reinforced and has been for some time, though not very well recently, I have to say, by the declining long moving average currently at 7.18. 
Going back a bit to early December last year, the short medium moving average, currently at 6.91, started capping prices. In truth, this moving average has been an effective cap on the market since mid-October 2023. Not tested, but effective nonetheless. However, on the 22nd of April, after some base building since late February, the market broke higher over the short medium moving average, as well as the medium moving average and some other significant resistances in a band between 6.93 to 7.08. In this band, we also have Two other patterns I'd spotted earlier, nestling like Russian dolls one within another. 30 weeks ago, I said the following of the first pattern, I quote, it is the nascent late August to date bear channel highlighted in bright red on my daily chart. That's August last year. Currently 672 to well off the bottom of my daily chart. This pattern is still operational. Once again, I note that how we have a smaller bear pattern nestling within a larger one, much larger one, sorry much like a Russian doll, end of quote. The second pattern is highlighted in purple on my daily chart and is the October 2023 to late April bear channel, currently at 580 to 678. This one has seen some market touches and likewise has also been broken. Prices two weeks ago exited up and out of the 693.708 congestion zone, creating a steep, acute, late April to date bull channel which I have further finessed today. That's currently 746 to 796. Highlighted in bright red on my daily chart. This break higher with the bright red within the bright red bull channel has given me the opportunity to consider opportunities top side. Opportunities to consider opportunities. Thus, for the big dark blue expanding wedge pattern, we have a primary target X in the 878 area and a harder to reach secondary target X1 in the 928 area. Uh, the second area is well up off the top of my daily chart. For the bright red bear channel, we have a primary target X2 in the 777 area, with secondary hard to reach target X3 in the 820 area. This week, the market reached up as far as 776 and a quarter. My apologies, it went as high as 776 and a quarter, which is close enough to tar target X2 in the secondary area. It's close enough in the secondary for me to call it reached. For the purple bear channel, we had a primary target in the 745 area, which has already been achieved. And the secondary hard has reached target X4 in the 768 area. The hard to reach secondary target X4 was reached this week as well. So that one will probably be retired as targets on my chart. So I'll just talk, just let all that sink in for a few moments. Then we'll look at obstacles in the way, preventing the market reaching those harder primary and secondary targets. The first one is the July 2021 low at 778, which has capped this week's action. It's not that aggressive, but it has stopped the rise this week. Interestingly, this was also one of the lows from May 2023, and it was the lower boundary of a widish band of congestion that stretched from 778 up to about 820. This accounts for the highs in September 2023 at 8.04 and 8.06. It's being capping the attempts higher in this congestion, to this congestion. And now may indicate that 8.04 and 8.06 as being significant centers of resistance based on that 7.78 to 8.20 overhead congestion. London UK feed week. One of the key features here on my daily chart, and it's a surprising feature, has been and is the extension of the neckline of the May to June 2023 reverse head and shoulders bottom, currently at 192 even, which is highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart. Originally, this was not a very notable pattern, a mini reverse head and shoulders pattern, if you will, but the extension of the neckline first acted as a pretty reasonable support and then later as an additional resistance. Though I suspect in the background the September 2021 low at 181.70 and perhaps more importantly the 50% absolute Fibonacci line at 180.5 have helped in the past to prop up prices and now this year in late April, however briefly, to cap prices. More recently we had seen a double bottom during February and March and prices have moved back up through the old congestion from March to April 19, uh, 2019 between 161.95 to 165 and three quarters as well as through the July 2021 and May 2023 lows, both at 164 even, and the August 2020 low at 161 even, reaching the target area for this pattern in the 170 area. We then had some hesitation 
under and around the median moving average, currently 172 even. This median moving average had been an effective cap for the market since about late 2023, becoming more significant as we head into December 2023. Six weeks ago, I posed this question, and I quote, the question now is what this hesitation we are seeing under and around the median moving average, what will it become? Will it be a capping and topping action or a halfway hesitation for a move higher? Or as I noted last week, does it have elements of a small sideways triangle? End of quote. Back then it was too early to say, but over time it became over and it was an ascending triangle, highlighted in bright red on my daily chart. From this pattern, punches, uh, prices punched up higher through the top of the pattern and the median moving average on the 22nd of April, reaching both the primary and secondary targets above. But then the market came into contact not only with the 50% absolute Fibonacci line and the September 2021 low, but also with the slowly declining long moving average, currently at 179.55. At the end of the first week in, of May, prices punched up through all three of these, establishing itself over them all. This left just the dark blue neckline, or rather the dark blue neckline that is over a band of congestion formed between roughly late August 2023, early January 2024, between about 183 even to 189 even. I said four weeks ago, and I quote, I'm not sure how good this band of congestion really is, and I'm also not too sure how good the dark blue neckline is as a resistance without the help of the 50% absolute Fibonacci line in September 2021 low. But having come so far, it'd be wasteful to not look further higher. Thus, looking at the triangle as a halfway hesitation, we could see a potential up as far as just under the neckline and above the 183 to 189 congestion up in the 190 and three quarter area, end of quote. Prices made a forced but significant break higher two weeks ago, but last week and this has made a truer break higher, up through the August 2021 high at 199.20 and peaking just under the March 2013 high at 205.05. Now, I said just now how the break two weeks ago was forced but significant. The reason why is because it helped define an early March to date bull channel, currently at 190.85 to 204 and a quarter. And though it was part of a weekly key reversal down, last week's actions have justified that weekly key reversal down as being a false break. So what have we in the way ahead? Well, we have congestion at the previously mentioned March 2013 high at 205.05 then the 2022 low at 206 and a half and the 2013 high at 215 even. But to be honest, none of these jumps out at me as being immediately significant. Perhaps the congestion in the 217 area around the July 2013 high, which has a small double top back then, Adam and Eve type. Perhaps that might be a better resistance. I will continue to keep you updated. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and at the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final important bit. Okay.